So let's continue with our tutorial series of the AI template. In this one we're going to talk about the head track. The head track for the AI template was based on the third person controller templates but it was modified and we've added a couple of cool features for the AI. So you can add the head track by selecting your AI controller, go to Invector, AI controller, components, here you can see the, all the cool components that the AI has for now in his current beta version. And we're going to talk about uh, each one on tutorials. This one in particular, it's a lot of fun. You, have, you will have a lot of cool possibilities. We also have a spawner system, a simple holder to hold weapons and keep them with animation and all. But let's stick with the head track for now. Uh, I've just added the head track. Let's open the properties. And uh, the first information you will see is that if the bone hips doesn't have the same orientation of the character, you can add a custom hips to override the original. In this case, a transform. So what does this mean? If the bone hips, which is uh, the first bone, usually the first bone of your character, if it doesn't have the same forward orientation as the character, uh, we need to create a new one that does. In this case, both are, look, are going forward, it's correct, but, oops, but each character has a different bone orientation and sometimes uh, not all orientations are correct so you need to go to create a empty game object and add a custom hips just for the head track and assign it here in transform hips this will solve the issues and it's it's a reference for the head track forward so this in this case we don't need one because it's correct so let's go to the next Okay, so here we have a lot of options. As you can see, strafe head, strafe body. Um, this means that not only the head track will move, but the, also the body. So this is the weight of the strafe movement and the free movement. They are both different. So pay attention to that. Sometimes you're customizing value here, but your character is in free uh, locomotion. Here we have the max and min angles for him to look at up and sideways. The follow camera is more like a third person option, but it's possible for the AI if you if you ever need it. Uh, we have here a option to keep looking even if it's out of angle. So this is uh, very useful when, for example, you, the character takes a damage and he's fleeing but you also want to the character to look at the damage sender uh, we're going to demonstrate this on a example uh, in, a, in, a, in a moment this is the offset look height it's the you can apply offset for the target usually 1.5 is the usually height of our player and the smooth is the speed that it will uh, do the the head track the animator tags are the tags that will ignore the behavior of the head track so for example if i have an animation here where the character mm, let's let me take another yeah one with actions. If I have a animation of the the AI that is doing an action such as passing a key card or getting an item, I don't want him to to the head track to to look at a target. I want him to do the animation without any uh, exterior behavior. So I need to add the tag custom action into my animation. This way the head track will be ignored and the animation will play as it it was meant to play that is the functionality of the animator tags here we have a couple more offsets here are the eyes 
are the same as we created before for the detection, detection point reference. So you can assign here um, the same object. Cool. So let's see what the FSM can do the head track. If you go to the the FSM that we already created, in the check and damage we have a option to look to damage sender. So it is uh, if we check that the character will actually use the head track to look at the damage sender. In this case, it is us. So let's take a look. I will just uh, reduce the speed from sprinting to walk so we can actually see better otherwise he's, he will just start running and we will barely see the head track working so uh, let's take a look how it looks I'm going to apply some damage to him and he's looking at me uh, even though it's out of range he's trying to look at me now what happens if I uncheck that option keep looking out of angle if I uncheck that option the character will not look at me unless it's within the the max enemy angle angle so you can try some things here like uh, increase the in this case he is walking on is walking in free locomotion so let's use the free locomotion values you can see that the body weight is 0.4 I can increase to 0.6 and you can see that he will blend way more his body and yeah looks pretty cool so another cool feature from the head track that we've added just for the AI is the use look around option uh, you, if you enable here you can see that we have a look around angle look around curve and look around speed um, if you see the curve you can actually click here and we have pre set up a curve here that he will simulate an idle animation where he looks at left and right so let's see how to use this feature if you go to the FSM there are some actions like the patrol that has the option look around on stay in this case he will only look around if he has a stay time on the waypoint area so if you read the, the tooltip here it, it is saying character will look around using the head track component and the look around angle and look around speed variables that you can set in the detection tab at the controller inspector so uh, let's go to our waypoint area and just increase a little bit the um, the time to stay let's add it uh, I don't know 10 just so we can better see the the head track look around feature okay let's see character will we have the five second idle now he's going to patrol and let's see when he reaches a waypoint here we go now as you can see he will simulate a look around left and right based on the curve that we've uh, added and the time and speed so it's a pretty cool feature especially because if you uh, remember on previous tutorials we've add a detection point reference for the detection system so if I enable this as you remember we created the eyes uh, detection point reference inside the head so if the head is moving the actual field of view will move as well let's take a look here it is it's actually searching for a target well that's pretty cool it will add a lot of more realism 
if you have idle animations that he will play randomly and this is very helpful to create a more realistic behavior you can also use this feature uh, alone so for example if I can add it uh, if I want to add it on the idle I can use as an action it's here at actions look around and I can add it here on my idle state and the look around and it will be on state update if I hit play those five seconds that he, he has he will be actually looking around so that's a pretty cool feature for the head track hope you like it and can make a good use of our head track just a quick reminder when you create a shooter controller it already comes with the head track component already assigned because we use the head track to actually aim up or down uh, with the body weight if your shooter AI is doing too much um, weird movement on the spine like this you can always set up limits with the min and max angle well that's it for this tutorial see you in the next one